Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show where I answer questions, discuss topics, and all that jazz. Seeing as this is the first episode of this new series, I might as well go into a little bit of detail about exactly what this is. I have been recently thinking, God, I like talking. I want a reason to talk without having to actually play games, and hey, I also want to answer questions and things, because I like expressing my opinion. Hey, why... How doesn't... Uh, bleh, 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 doesn't everybody? So, I came up with this idea. This series is mainly inspired by the mailbox, which Total Biscuits used to do. It was a, uh... It was, it was more than a weekly show, it was almost a daily show that he did for the longest time. Got several hundred episodes out before he eventually ended it. And I really enjoyed watching it, and I was sad to see it go. And I thought, hey, I could make something similar to that, because it wouldn't require me playing loads of games... I could just sit and actually talk and not be distracted by all that nonsense in the background. So this is going to be a similar mailbox series where you guys send in questions or suggest discussion topics and I'm just going to sit here and talk about it. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Also probably be putting some game footage in the background, not entirely sure what it will be today. Probably something interesting just to keep the screen moving for those of you who want to have something entertaining to look at. I don't know how entertaining it'll be, but I won't be referring to it at all, so this isn't a gameplay video of sorts. Anyway, without further ado, on with the questions. First question comes in from Ryan. Hey Harv, Guy here. I'm a big fan of your space-based science series and was wondering, when is the next episode of Space-based Solar Power coming out? Well, turns out I'm on Easter holidays for the next two weeks, which is kind of exciting. Technically, I ought to be using this time to revise, and I will be, because I've got exams in almost exactly one month, so I definitely will be revising. This is for my GCSEs, by the way. Yes, I'm doing GCSEs. You should all know this by now. So, I am on holiday, and despite the fact that I am revising, I also do, as a result, have quite a lot of time on my hands. Which means that it is probably going to be this Easter that I make the space-based science video. I've already recorded the audio for it, and the next step is to storyboard the animations. Because I want to rely less on using KSP graphics, uh, as I did quite heavily use KSP graphics in the... Ah, uh, what was it? In the Gravity Gradient Stabilization video. Link is probably on the screen right now for if you don't know what I'm on about. It's quite interesting. It's, it's basically how you can take advantage of orbital mechanics just to keep things stable and always pointing in one direction. Very, very cool. Ah, uh, but uh, that was the only video in the Space Based Science series and I originally intended to do it, like, weekly. Which never happened! So, yeah, the Easter holidays is a good opportunity for me to actually get on and make that space-based uh, solar power video. Interestingly enough, it's not just my idea for making an informative video like the first episode was. My father is actually writing, or has written, a scientific paper on the topic. So it's mainly based on what he's done in actual fact, and his idea for space-based solar power, and I have to tell you, it is pretty damn feasible. Four to five times cost reduction over other leading proposals. Hmm, very exciting. And also, the present... Oh, I'm playing with a coin on my desk, stop that, Harvey. Don't be distracted. Uh, the, the, the presence of my dad's scientific intellect in my life is, uh, also relates to the next question which I shall be talking about in just a moment. But yes, the Space Space Science series always wants to do it, never did it with the... or never haven't been able to do it with the frequency that I would like. But that is coming. Just got to storyboard it, then do the animating. Probably not going to be using KSP an awful lot. Probably will be relying on it, uh, because I am no good at animating yet. Reason being that I haven't really animated yet. At all. In in fact, what you saw in that video is the most I've ever done before. Uh, though I have seen a few tutorials recently that I think I'll be able to get the hang of it in no time. Whether or not it'll be actually released this Easter, I am still unsure. It'll prob... I can... Okay, being pessimistic, because I've been optimistic with that way too much, it probably won't be this Easter might be in the next few weeks afterwards, but because of my exams, who can really say? 
Next question comes from Totally Mad Gamer on Twitter. Harv, what got you interested in space? Uh, the presence of my dad, actually, and his scientific interest. <laughs> because he's a very academic guy, he very much likes space, and from as probably as far back as I can remember, he's always been uh, either reading out articles on space science or simply just keeping us up to date with the latest technology news. And from a very early age influenced me into reading Stephen Baxter and other sci-fi novelists. And I love them! Missed out on all that childhood nonsense, all that literature you're supposed to read to have a good childhood. Just, phew, completely gone. I immediately started reading adult sci-fi. And it is the best thing. It is so, so good, and it's made me the person I am today. So, the influence of him is definitely one thing. In fact, due to his influence, my primary school project... God, it must have been... Must have been year three or four. I, I did a project. Everyone else did... I can't, remember what the, I can't remember what the briefing was, it was probably something like Do something you're interested in! So everyone else did cars, or celebrities, and I did space! And I did the Apollo moon missions! And I, I think I had a specific focus on Buzz Aldrin. Actually no, no, the actual project itself was focused on Buzz Aldrin. And that was epic, and before I submitted it, or was it after? No, I submitted it and everything, and I talked about Buzz Lightyear in relation to Buzz Aldrin. And then afterwards, having got it back from school, we went to Leicester, to the Leicester Space Center, where Buzz Aldrin was signing cards. Or signing copies of his book, I believe. And there I was, clutching my little homemade primary school project. Probably about nine years old, probably younger than that actually, nine years old or so waiting in line, got to the front, and I remember this very distinctly, got to the front, holding my dad's hand, and he goes, hello little child, you've got a copy of my book, do you want me to sign? And he goes, no, I, oh, I went, no, can you can you sign my space-based project, please, I was, you know, I made it for you, it's all for you, please sign it! And Buzz Aldrin's wife was like, now dear, you've got to keep, you've got to take care of your hand, you know? Because you've got to sign thousands upon thousands of signatures. You can't, you've got to do it just for the book, okay? Just do it for the books. You've got to turn everything else away. And I was just like, oh no, please, please. Didn't say anything, just in my mind I was, please. And Buzz Aldrin, in that one fateful moment, said, no, I'll sign it, child. Here you go. There you go. That was, that was the signing sound. And he signed it for me. Gah. So I took it back to school and was like, look, I want to resubmit my project because I got it signed. I don't know if I still have that or not. Uh, well, whatever the case, that was definitely a major influence in my interest in space. And uh, after that, a major, I, I'd say specifically rather than just the general topic of space, my brother went to Korolev and competed in the Space Olympics, which isn't what you just imagined. It's an academic contest, not a physical contest, but that would be amazing. A physical contest where you have to run around in artificial gravity and do parkour on the rotating space habitat. Yeah, that'd be great. No, he went and competed in the Space Olympics, which was made up of physics and maths challenges primarily. Also had to write a poem, and he came third or something in the entire competition for that. But his specific focus was on artificial gravity, so it was actually him, my older brother, that, uh, that had the interest and did the research into artificial gravity. That video I made, which is the most successful video on my channel, link is probably on the screen right now, which is the most successful video on my channel, is actually as a result of his research. It, I didn't do any research myself, I just was with him when he was creating and preparing his thing for Russia. Some of you at this point may be remembering, hang on, didn't Harv... Didn't Harv say that he was going to go to Russia, to Korolev? Wasn't he going to do a fundraising thing? What happened to that? Never happened! I probably am still going to Korolev, and that should be happening this December, depending on the political situation in Russia recently, which I'm not going to be talking about in this series, I might add. Uh, depending on how that goes, we will or will not be going to Russia, but uh, whatever the case, it is still happening regardless of the fact that I cancelled the fundraising project due to lack of cooperation with the school, with my secondary school. Basically, we're trying to raise money for them, trying to have them take responsibility for your guys' money. Your your guys's? Your guys? 
What's the plural of guys? Yeah, I don't know. But they were very unwilling to do, to cooperate with me, to actually take responsibility for it and set up a PayPal account or whatever we'd need. So it never happened. I was going to, in I was intending to do it over the half term a few weeks back, or six weeks back. Nope, never happened. They were too slow. And I didn't ask them early enough, I guess. So, yes. The combination of my dad's influence of sci-fi books, of my primary school project, and of my brother going to Korolev, pretty much got me set on wanting a career and an academic interest in space science. Next question, and final question for today, from Justin. Hey Harv, what's your opinion on Facebook acquiring Oculus? Now... There was a lot of uproar on the internet a few weeks ago because of how this big multi-billion dollar company took over, um, took over the, the indie man's, the indie man's company, the one who stood up for PC gaming, the niche part of the sector for hardcore gamers. Oculus Rift, the virtual reality dream, snatched by the big bad corporate monkeys at Oculus, at, at Facebook even. And the entire internet went, Pfft, Oculus, we hate you! And I just sat there going, Is it really so bad? And I posted on Twitter saying, Pfft, Well, I, I don't really see what the problem is, guys. This, this means they have more money. The, the product will surely be better. And there were people saying that, oh, you'll have to sign in with Facebook to use it. And no, you won't. It's a piece of hardware. They're not going to impose that. In fact, Facebook actually has a pretty good track record of not interfering with the uh, with the companies that it acquires. There was a, an SMS messaging service. Uh, what was it called? WhatsApp, I believe. I, I don't use it. My brother uses it. But they, they acquired that a while ago in a big another billion dollar kind of thing and they haven't interfered with that at all there's nothing on the page apart from supported by facebook so i have high hopes for how they'll benefit vr more so than hinder it and more than anything i'm disappointed with the reaction because a lot of people have lost enthusiasm for the rift because of this and I understand their point of view, of course, but like a notch posted on Twitter that he was in talks with Oculus, but no longer because he doesn't like Facebook. They creep him out, which is disappointing because a official Minecraft version for Oculus would have been fantastic. But no, it was not to be. Luckily enough, because of Minecraft being Minecraft, we got mods for that. So I guess up yours, notch. But uh, yeah, so. I'm, I don't really mind. I think it's going to benefit VR in that the consumer version they bring out will be better because as, as a result of the extra injected funding. And I have ordered my dev kit too. So I'm going to be developing a game. I've always wanted to be developing a game and I never really sat down and did it. And I want my summer holidays after my exams finish to be that. And it will be that, and I probably will take advantage of ordering the dev kit to, to make it specifically for Oculus. And that is going to be a very interesting summer for me. On that note, my summer is going to be very interesting for other reasons. We've got the Kerbal Polar Expedition 2 happening from August 6th to August 10th, where we're going to be driving from the Kerbal Space Center in, KSC, in KSP all the way to the North Pole, our second attempt, like we did last year. Gonna have loads of guests on, gonna raise loads of money for Charity Water, bringing sources of clean water to those who are in dire need of it. It's gonna be very, 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 very cool. And I'll probably be making a few videos closer to the time to try and engage your interests in that. Uh, but otherwise, that is it from me today. Thank you very much for watching this show where I answer questions and discuss topics and all that jazz. You can send in your questions either via Twitter at HOCGamer or via email hockgaming at live.co.uk that is hocgaming at live.co.uk thank you very much for watching this first installment of all that jazz if you have any questions send it to those two places and i'm guessing this will either be a weekly or fortnightly episode uh, fortnightly podcast thing 
more likely to be Fortnite League, considering the fact that there won't be all that many videos in the following few weeks. I don't want to spam you with just this content, because I understand that most of you are here more for the gaming, less so than for my personality necessarily. But I think it's quite an interesting idea. If you think it is an interesting idea that you want to see more of, please do like the video if you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.